Howdy campers, welcome to your 22nd Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to go ahead and install a package called Nodemon. Okay then guys, so now we know how to use the Node package manager and how to install packages. Before we get started with Express, I just want to install one more package first and show you what that does. And this package is called Nodemon. So I've gone to the Node Package Manager website and I've searched for Nodemon and this has come up. So this is a great little package for when you're developing and what it does is basically monitor your application files so that when it's running in a browser and we're listening to the server, if we make a change in one of the application core files like app.js, then it can monitor that and when we save that file, it restarts the server automatically for us so we don't have to go back start cancelling out of the process, then start running the app through Node again. So we can just refresh on the browser and we're going to get that fresh change. So this is really cool. You can read more about it here. If you just search for Nodemon, then it's going to come up and you can check out the documentation and the usage if you like. Right here, it says, this is how we install it. And notice this G flag right here. This means that we're going to install it globally. And basically what that means is, that no matter what application we work with on our computer, we can use Nodemon. Because when we've been installing packages in the past, we've been doing it locally, specific to an application. But this is gonna install it globally, meaning that when we create applications in the future, we're not gonna to need to install Nodemon again. It's already globally installed on our computer, so we can use it in any of our applications on here. So let's go ahead and install it. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and say, npm install nodemon and then we can put the hyphen g at the end or before nodemon it doesn't really matter it does the same thing and this is going to go ahead download all of those files for nodemon and install them globally so we're not going to see those files here when it installs it's going to install somewhere else okay so that's fully installed now and the way this works is by instead of typing node app to run our application, instead I'm going to say nodemon app.js. And this is going to do the same thing. It's going to run our application and you're going to see a couple of messages that it will throw up in a second. You can see. So this is the version. Uh, to restart at any time, enter RS. Um, it's watching all the files and it's starting node app.js. So now it's listening to port 3000. So it started the file and it's running it, but it's just telling us that it's watching the files, and if we make a change, then it's gonna update it for us. So if we go to localhost right now, I've still got these routes set up from a couple of lessons back, so we're gonna get the home page. So everything's working, and if we go to, say, contact, that's fine. If we go somewhere else that's not on this application, then we're gonna get the 404 error. So cool, that's all working. But now check this, what if I make a change? What if I say I want this to be contact hyphen us. So if I save this now, you'll see right here, it says restarting due to changes and it's restarting node app.js. So we don't need to cancel out the process here. We can just go over to the browser and then if we go to contact, because we've changed the URL here, we've changed the app.js and it's updated on the fly and restarted, then we're getting the 404 error now because we've changed it to contact us. So this is a much better way of working with Node.js, I think, Nodemon, rather than saying Node app all the time because you have to keep on restarting that manually. So this is a cool little package which is going to help us a lot when developing. Any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to start looking at Express. I'll see you guys then.